children in the last class we have discussed about food poisoning and different methods of preserving food from a microorganism in today's class we will discuss about very important uh, topic that is nitrogen cycle or nitrogen fixation and nitrogen cycle in detail first we will discuss about nitrogen fixation you know that the plants and animals they cannot use a uh, gaseous forms of nitrogen present in the atmosphere directly and uh, this gaseous forms of nitrogen should be converted into usable forms of nitrogen that process uh, is called as nitrogen fixation that can be done with the help of some of the microorganism they are bacteria as well as blue green algae rhizobium bacteria and blue green algae that is called nostoc they are involved in the nitrogen fixation that's why they are commonly called as nitrogen fixers nitrogen fixation rhizobium bacteria and blue green algae that is also called as nostoc they help in the fixation of nitrogen they convert gaseous nitrogen into usable forms of nitrogen you know that these are the this rhizobium bacteria that is a soil bacteria that is present in the take shelter in the root nodules of leguminous plants that are leguminous plants includes beans and peas again some of the other examples are there but the beans and peas are the very very good examples for leguminous plant this rhizobium bacteria take shelter in root nodules of leguminous plants where it shows symbiotic relationship and they will provide uh, food water minerals for the bacteria and the plants in turn provide food for bacteria like that they show symbiotic relationship that means bacteria and leguminous plants both are uh, helping each other they uh, show a mutual relationship you studied about symbiosis and mutualism or symbiotic relationship that means your both organisms are mutually benefited that is the meaning of symbiotic relationship here leguminous plants and rhizobium bacteria they are mutually benefited and they show symbiotic relationship thereby they help in fixing nitrogen in the soil this usable they convert the gaseous nitrogen into usable forms of nitrogen that is used by the plants and then plants are eaten by animal that will be again returned to the atmosphere that we will discuss in the nitrogen cycle you know that there are 78 percentage of nitrogen is present in the atmosphere and you will wonder how this 78 percentage of nitrogen is maintained in the atmosphere constantly and how it is maintained what is responsible for that how it is recycled or uh, that is all because of a nitrogen cycle that is because of nitrogen cycle that is 78% of nitrogen in the atmosphere it is nitrogen it is a very important part of protein it is required for all living organism and it is one of the essential constituent of all living organism as a part of protein chlorophyll nucleic acid and vitamins nucleic acid means what uh, rna and dna that is ribonucleic acid deoxy ribonucleic acid they are the examples for nucleic acids it is a part of protein chlorophyll nucleic acid and vitamin what nitrogen it is a part main component of uh, protein is nitrogen you know they about that all this it is one of the essential constituent of all living organisms as a part of protein chlorophyll nucleic acid and vitamins 
next we will discuss about the nitrogen cycle in detail this nitrogen cycle is responsible to maintain constant atmospheric nitrogen or right? atmospheric gaseous nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen percentage is maintained with the help of nitrogen cycle first now to discuss about nitrogen cycle the first we have to consider atmospheric nitrogen is the name atmosphere you will come across gaseous nitrogen that is in 78% that is used that will be converted into nitrogen fixing bacteria fix atmospheric nitrogen that is converted into usable forms of nitrogen with the help of bacteria that is nitrogen fixing bacteria fix atmospheric nitrogen then again bacteria in turn that is with help of bacteria bacteria in turn fix nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds that converts gaseous nitrogen into usable forms of nitrogenous compounds and then again this bacteria fix nitrogen in the soil it is it will be stored in the soil compounds of nitrogen in the soil these compounds of nitrogen that is a uh, used by the plants that is uptake by plants again these plants are eaten by animals animals will eat the plants and again when the plants and animals will die the nitrogenous compounds present in the plants and animals will return to the uh, soil again and then again what happened when the animals and plants excrete those nitrogenous waste will enter to the soil again nitrogenous compounds in the form of nitrogenous compound they will be returned to the soil and then compounds of nitrogen in the soil is again uh, converted into atmospheric nitrogen gaseous nitrogen with the help of some of the bacteria so many examples of bacteria are pseudomonas Our rhizobium bacteria, pseudomonas, they will convert into usable forms. Again, usable forms of nitrogen will be converted into gaseous forms of nitrogen with the help of bacteria, fungi, and blue-green algae. Then, bacteria in turn compounds of nitrogen into gaseous nitrogen. Bacteria turn compounds of nitrogen into gaseous forms of nitrogen. Again, the atmospheric nitrogen is maintain that is in the form of gas this will represent what a nitrogen cycle it is a schematic representation of nitrogen cycle or it is a flow chart of nitrogen cycle and sometimes what happen nitrogen is fixed in the nature not directly that gaseous nitrogen is converted into usable forms of nitrogen in the soil with the help of a lightening process you know about lightening it helps to convert atmospheric nitrogen gaseous nitrogen into compounds of nitrogen okay this is about the nitrogen cycle and till now we have discussed about all you know um useful microorganism classification of microorganism harmful microorganisms uh, and uh, nitrogen fixation food poisoning methods of preserving food all those things we have discussed there are uh, four types i told there are four types of microorganism fungi bacteria protozoa uh, algae and another one microorganism that is virus Uh, these are not grouped under microorganism because they are different from other microorganisms that means viruses are microscopic but they reproduce only inside the living organism in the plant cell or in the animal cell they reproduce uh, that's why they are not grouped under the um, other microorganism they are different from other microbes that's why viruses are they are not included under the group of microorganisms they are in the separate group because viruses they are harmful they are not having any useful effect that's why they are included under different category okay this completes your second chapter that is microorganisms friends and 
force microorganisms are our friends as well as microorganisms are our enemies because of usefulness and because of harmful effects okay we will com uh, complete the exercise question answers i will give the exercise question answers uh, you go to that and complete the exercise question answers in the prayer book and you have to write this nitrogen cycle schematic representation of nitrogen cycle in the prayer book i will give the question and you have to write it is a very important nitrogen cycle explain nitrogen cycle with schematic representation or with flow chart they will ask okay if you have any doubt you can ask thank you